somebody, anybody, everybody, scream! Hey everybody, Tiki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And it happens to be another first impression. Well, actually, I take that back. Technically, this is not a first impression. It's totally a review because listen, this is like, um, one, two, three, four, five. This is like my fourth or fifth time rocking this foundation. And the foundation that I'm rocking is by NYX. You guys, like, I'm super happy because I'm gonna just tell you right now, I really love it. I do. I, I totally love it. But we're gonna go through the motions and I'm gonna show you everything like I usually do, just so you guys can see if it's something you're interested in purchasing, okay? But I will tell you this. This is the first, I repeat, the first foundation that I've ever rocked from NYX Cosmetics that actually matches my skin tone and I don't have to mix or do anything and I'm stoked about it. Can we just get a hand praise? I'm just saying. This is called their NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Definitely go to the store. If you have a NYX store where you are, check it out, try them out, test them out, do a little sample, you know, match on your neck like I like to do you guys because I'm lighter down here than I am on my face. Yeah, I have a little situation. Don't even pay any attention to that. Let's just keep it pushing. But anyway, I rocked this on my anniversary and I rocked it a couple of times before that. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you totally saw me rocking this foundation. Like I told y'all about it. A lot of people say that this foundation is similar to the Cover Drops by Cover FX, but I did not have any of those drops. So I cannot compare it to that. Otherwise I would, y'all know how we do. I totally would. But I'm also going to use some of the ColourPop shadows because I told you guys that I was gonna come back and use some of the matte shadows let you guys know how I feel about it. But if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know that the ones that I have been rocking have been bomb.com. I even found a brow bone highlight because in the last video, I told you guys that there wasn't one for me, but um, girl, I found one. I would say this is gonna be a twofer, like, you know, two for one special, but it's actually gonna be three products that I'm trying in this video because I wanna get it to you. So there's a product by Milk Makeup. I don't know if you guys have heard of Milk Makeup, but if you follow me on Snap, there goes that plug in. But if you follow me on Snap, you totally have seen this. And this is their new blur stick. So it's a primer. You're supposed to be able to use it without foundation and with foundation, no matter what your skin tone is. And it's supposed to blur out imperfections. But anyway, we're gonna use Use that today. So first we are going to go into this color top notch. That is a favorite. Save it for later for the inner corner because that is a favorite. And then there is a color in this palette that I also showed in the last video called low key. And I believe the color is called running late. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to zoom through this really quickly because the video is not necessarily about these shadows. It's more so about the foundation, but I figured why not show you all of them together? You feel me? I'm just gonna put this color top notch in the crease. Actually, y'all know what? I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. Why not? So far, so good. I have no complaints at all. I actually think that they did a great job. This is gonna be a super simple look because really, during the week, y'all, I do not rock a lot of makeup. I'm, I'm really doing this for y'all technically because I would just have it like no shadow. So this is for y'all, okay? I love ya. Love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya, love ya. Like I think from here on out, if I don't use Peach Smoothie as a brow bone highlight, I will be going into running late because it's perfect. Okay, so when you're trying to rush and do lashes, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. So I think we're like borderline, working, not working. <laughs> this is all I'm doing, two shadows, not four. Two shadows, that's it. I met a gentleman, he is actually a vlogger, and he was telling me that he used the foundation and he was giving me some of his recommendations and all that. He was saying that he recommends using it with a brush and not a beauty blender because the beauty blender actually will absorb most of the product and it is very liquid, like it's very runny. It's similar to water. So what I have been doing is I have been using my Real Techniques brush for it. I've been using the same technique that I've used for all my other foundations and that's putting the foundation on my hand and then dotting it on my face and then applying it because even using a brush, a brush will absorb product as well. And I just, that's just a technique I use, okay? But I will say, well, we're gonna get into the specs and I'm gonna tell you what it says, but y'all know I'm generous with foundation. What it says is, from sheer to full, your ideal coverage is just drops away with our new Total Control Drop Foundation. Fine tune this velvety matte foundation. That is exactly what it is, velvety matte, and I love that about it. Fine tune this velvety matte foundation with the included dropper. Simply adjust the number of drops until you create the look you're feeling today. Want more coverage? 
add more drops, girl. But it has 24 shades, so that is so awesome. So 24 shades means that it has so many different colors as well as undertones, and y'all know I love that about a foundation line. First, we're gonna use this blur stick by Milk Makeup. I'm excited and nervous. Y'all know when I'm on camera and I'm doing this stuff, it's like, ah! So anyway, blur. Let's see. Does it, did it really blur? Let me rub it in. It's very, mmm. Oh, that smells, I didn't mean to kiss it, but dang, that smells really good. You guys see a difference? Do you see a difference from this side to that side? So here's the side with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and then this is without it. So now I'm correcting, and this is the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Cover. I think it's called concealer, but this specific shade in R50 is for correcting on deep skin. So I will tell you guys that while I was at NYX Cosmetics, he told me that two pumps is similar to the coverage that a BB cream will give you. He said four to five drops is sort of like, you know, medium to like full coverage, right? So I made a joke and I was like, well, I'll probably use six or seven because listen, me and foundation, we got a lot of thing going on. But after using this, you guys, being that this is like my fourth or fifth time, I literally use like 10 to 20 drops. Don't tell nobody and don't judge me. As y'all know, I'm generous <laughs> with foundation. I can't even say that without laughing after Minimes did the parody, but I really like this foundation. As a matter of fact, it has a natural finish, yet a velvet matte finish. And when I rocked it on my anniversary, Minnie was like, do you have on foundation or are you just rocking powder? Like that's how good it looks, but listen, I can show you, better than I can tell you. So we're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Now, I don't wanna waste this, but I do wanna show you guys, like, oh my God, don't spill. You see that? Very, very liquidy, okay? And that's all I'm gonna give you, cause yeah, it's precious, it's precious. So I will say that um, the reason that I do do my primer and do all the stuff that I do when I do reviews or first impressions is because that is legit how I rock my foundation. The one thing I don't use is a setting spray because I feel like it does alter the foundation or not alter the foundation, but it does make it last a little longer, right? So that's the only thing I don't do, but I do a primer because a primer kind of smooths out your face and it kind of acts as a barrier. And you know, it has so many good things that it does that that's why I wear a primer all the time. I didn't used to wear a primer, but now I'm convinced and I love them. But do you guys see how that matches my face so perfectly and it blends right in? Like, I just, I just can't. Like, I don't know if I told you guys the shade, but it's mahogany and oh my gosh, it's like perfect for my skin. It's like I was in the lab with them when they made it. You see how it dries a little bit? Like, there you go. It is kind of like velvety matte, but um, this is why I go in with more because that's not enough for me. That is not enough. Now, most people would be like, oh, and we're done. That's great. Mm -mm. We're not gonna even try to front. We're just gonna keep it all the way real. Six, let's go seven. <laughs> because it's a love thing. And in this packaging, it does have 0.43 ounces. It's super duper, super duper light. Like you don't really feel it on your skin. I love the finish of it. You know, it feels weird not using my beauty blender because I'm so addicted to it, but this is such a good foundation. I don't even mind using my brush. And I just use my BH Cosmetics powder per the use, y'all know. This is in 240 and they work well together. So that is what I'm gonna use today. I'm back, good people. Okay, so I am back and this is the final look. Let me just get that little wild situation working. Okay, there we go. And if you guys wanna know about this hair, I did a video on the wig transformation. So I will link that. But anyway, this is the final look, you guys. The lippy I have on is by Ofra Cosmetics and it is in the shade Brooklyn. This is one of my favorite shades from their whole liquid lipstick collection and it's perfect for fall. But about the foundation, you guys, this is the final look. I will check in later on at the end of the day, at the end of the day. But I wanted to tell you guys this. I saw this on the box, so I'm so glad I didn't throw it away. But on the box, it says that if you want light coverage, two drops plus. If you want medium coverage, three drops plus, meaning or more. You know, it's at your own discretion. And if you want full coverage, four drops or more. Now we know. I totally put like 17 drops. That's just that's just how I get down. Y'all don't have to do that. Y'all can stick with the four, five, six, seven. I don't know, like whatever floats your boat. So I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I've had this foundation on for about eight hours, eight hours plus, let's just say that, all right? And this is what we're looking like. And I am going to do a close up per the use with my handy dandy camera here. 
And you know, it's just easier to do it this way than to try to do it on this camera. So that is what we're gonna do. And y'all, I'm looking like Rudolph all shiny and glistening right here, but I have not blotted all day. I made it through over eight hours and I have not touched my face at all. This, I do not mind the dewiness right here. It's all up and through here and right here and not even so much right there. But yeah, mostly here, that is not so good. But that's not bad for over eight hours. Not for me because I have combination skin. So that's pretty much gonna happen with any foundation, but to the level of which it happens, it depends on the foundation I'm rocking, the primer I use, all that good stuff, okay? But this ColourPop shadow, y'all, is still going strong, not too shabby. Like I am like Seeky approved, let's just say that. But I'm gonna blot real quick before we go on. Life is great. I absolutely love this foundation. Now, is this an event foundation? No, but everyday foundation, um, like I, I will rock this every day. I would even rock this on the weekend, but listen, it does handle over eight hours of wear. Just wanted to come back and show you guys what it was looking like. Cause I already know that I love this foundation. I already know. It's like thumbs up, thumbs up, two thumbs up. It's great. I do plan on trying yet another foundation. Like this is the season of foundation trying, I guess. But I do plan on trying this foundation. This is by Wet n Wild and it's called Photo Focus Foundation. However, I ordered it online on Wet n Wild site and I got the color Espresso cause I couldn't really tell what shade would be perfect for me, but this is way too dark. So. I am going to try to get the right shade. And once I do that, I will come back with a first impression and or review. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. And if you enjoyed this video and first impressions and all that good stuff, don't forget to thumbs up and have an awesome blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb. Seeky Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.